Hey guys, and today I'm lucky to be joined by George Russell, who is an F1 driver for the Williams Racing Team. So, George, how are you today? Very good, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing really well, thanks. So, what we're going to be doing today is just a little mini championship with some free lap races. Are you ready for some racing? Let's do it, let's do it. How quick are you? Um, you I, I'd say I'm pretty decent. All let's right. do it. Cool. So, um... Obviously, you can pick whatever car you want, but I'm guessing you're going to go for the Williams. Probably. That, yeah, that shouldn't you be a different car so we're not, um, so you can sit, tell who's who? But can't, yeah, you can tell from a gamer tag. And oh, we're going to be, course. there's only us two in the lobby. That is very true. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, I've picked Spain for the first race. What do, what do you want to do for the other two? I don't really know. I've got Monaco this weekend, so we can do Monaco. Yeah, that would probably make sense. But Spain, Monaco, and Britain to end it. Are we going straight in for the race? Straight in for free lap race. Let's do it. I've got a new simulator now, so I'm not too sure how Ooh, quick how it is. is. It? it feels good. It feels good, but it's not about how good it feels, it's about how fast it is. So, uh, right, let's go. Let's be ready for this. Yup. So, George, the last time I talked to you, you said to me that all you wanted from winter testing was a fast car. Did it deliver? Absolutely. Did it deliver? It was definitely faster than last year. Um, is it as fast as the top top teams? Definitely not. But are we going to be more in the fight than last year? I think we will be. So, I mean, off the back of a very tough year last year, that's sort of all we could have hoped for. So, um, yeah, it's difficult to know in winter testing. But I think we'll have to be patient until we get back racing again and, uh, and go from there. I spoke to Claire also, and she said that she wanted to show that Williams have learned their mistakes and they're able to fix them, go racing again. Do you think that's a realistic expectation for Williams, a season and a one on the grass? You are. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. I think, um, you know, we had a lot of issues, a lot of issues last year, not just the pace of the car, but um, obviously making it to winter testing last year and a number of other things. But now I think there's a much stronger platform of the team and um, overall we're in a much better position to go racing and uh, put up a fight with the with the midfield guys or you know the, the lower end of the midfield guys you did this with nicholas right yeah yeah how did you get on he beat me 2-1 2-1 not bad I've, I've done it with a couple of other people as well already yeah, yeah. who else uh, i thought you did one with uh ollie yeah i did one with callum as well okay did you beat him or not? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just... Callum, poor boy. Throughout your career, you've had a lot of success from GP3, all the way from karting to GP3, F2s, and now you've picked up your first win in the virtual GP in F1. Wh which one of these wins has meant the most to you <laughs> and why? I've got to be honest, the virtual Grand Prix win was actually a real buzz, you know, after... A tough year last year, battling around at the back, you know, obviously amazing being in Formula 1, but no major competition with other drivers other than uh, Robert. Um, being at the front in the virtual Grand Prix and racing with the guys, it's it's been fun and I've enjoyed that thrill and I've, I've missed racing uh, at the front, so I wouldn't, I'm not going to say that, obviously winning Formula 2, which got me into Formula 1 was definitely, you know, the greatest thing that happened in my career but um, mm -hmm. it's been been nice these virtual Grand Prix you absolutely you absolutely demolished me in that race <laughs> uh, it's a cool track this mm -hmm. in an F1 car it is so it, far it's scary uh, it's not scary but it's so thrilling and um, yeah the race round here last year just for oh, having to push for about 50 laps in a row just to keep the tyres working. Yeah, putting these cars on my limit around there is uh, it's decent. It is proper decent. Got a 1.9 second gap already. What's going on? I'm not having a good day. D -d -d don't don't mention it. <laughs> if I have a good race at the weekend, I'll have to say it was down to this little race we just had now. Yeah, definitely. How are we getting on? I can't not, see not in my good. mirrors. What's going on? I'm not driving well. Too much pressure. <laughs> George, we've seen a lot of battles between you and Nicholas on the virtual track. 
Do you think we're going to see this continue into the real world racing when it gets underway? <laughs> I hope not. I hope, um, <laughs> I hope I'm faster so we don't need to battle. No, Nick Nicholas is a great driver. I'm sure he's going to put up a good fight, obviously. He's in his rookie year. I've got a bit more experience compared to him in Formula 1. But there's going to be no doubt he's going to be on it and, um, and pushing me hard. So um, I'm looking forward to that. He's, he's pushing you harder than I am right now. So that's not good. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I, I won't comment on that. I haven't. Where are you? Oh, I'm, a, I'm a bit back. <laughs> uh, well, that was a good race. I, I, I don't like one. this. I enjoyed that race. How much did we win by? I don't want you to mention it. <laughs> well, you got one more race to uh, Silverstone. Bring it back. <laughs> right, let's do this. All right. So in this race, I'm just going to give you a couple of quick fire questions. Oh, here we go. Yes! Finally! There you go. I'm in the lead. Oh! oh. It's Gosh, my first like... time racing in this view. It's so different to compare to before. So I'm in the um, cockpit cam now. But whereas before I was in the. Um, what do you call it? TV TV cam. T cam. So. Uh, no, I think it's better for lap time, but it, you don't have as much of a brick. You got the toe now. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a bold move here. There we go. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I've managed to let it hang if you leave me any oh. room. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were. I'll be nice. Yeah, I'll give you space. Yes. Oh, oh. oh are you still there? I'm still there. Oh I'm I've overshot there. that. That's not nice. You have. What what's the best thing about being an F1 driver? Uh the best thing. Well, get to drive the fastest cars in the world around the best tracks in the world. That's definitely uh, okay. the best what? thing. Oh my god, my guy just put his hand up and he's blocked my vision. <laughs> that's the only problem so. with cockpit cam. Whoa, that's a dive bomb. I'll leave you in space. Oh. oh. We're having a right little battle here. This is much better. No. Right. Not I'm not going to be able to see line. now. Oh no, we're off. No, we're not off, but we're, uh, we're, we ran a bit wide. What's the worst thing about being an F1 driver? <laughs> um, I had this question before. It's probably not being able to watch F1. You know, I love F1. I've watched it ever since I've been a kid. Um, and now that I'm in F1... Ooh, you've turned in we... on me. <laughs> oh, wait. Go on. Oh, no, it's fine. Go, 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 go. I've, uh, I, can't, I can't actually see you. I nearly went in the... Uh, this you, is going to be a nightmare for me racing. You literally spun me, but somehow managed to catch it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going for it. Oh, nope. Have you tried around the outside again? Oh, I've hello. Made it somehow. <laughs> That's got to be a penalty. Sure. No, I didn't even get a warning. Have a word. I've got a proper run here. We don't have damage on, do we? Uh, no, we don't. Here we go. We're on to the last lap. This requires focus, no question. <laughs> the question have got out the window here, haven't they? Yep, definitely. I'm having a focus. Oh, it. Right. Okay. I'm gonna try and distract you with questions now. Um, if if you were stranded on a desert island and could only bring one person with you, who would it be and why? One person. Yes. Um. Uh, person would probably have to be someone female to be, <laughs> to be oh, fair. Okay then. Are you still there? I can't see you. Oh, yep, I'm there. I'm definitely there. I'll let you go. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm um, going to go for it again. I don't even care. I'm keeping it flat here, so... Oh, no, we're oh, off. Oh, my knee's gone. We're off. I'll I should have waited. I should have waited. 
Oh, it was a full-on Magnuson and Car oh, Science. Oh, absolutely. How would your friends oh, oh. describe you? Uh, funny, uh, annoying sometimes. Um, I don't know. Like, like to have a bit of a joke. And, and why does Alex like screaming your name so much? He loves me. Is that why? Are you sure I there's nothing so. else? I think he wants to be like me. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. No, me and Alex are good mates. Me and Alex are really good mates. So, um, you know, when I crash into him for a bit of a laugh, it's just uh, a bit of a laugh, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I'd say so that's the reason. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? You're asking some difficult questions here. I'd probably want to be slightly shorter because What's next that? one. I'm six foot two, and in Formula One, the weight is such a, an issue. And being that tall, it means I can't really eat everything I'd probably wish to be eating. So, I mean, I've just got to be so super strict, and it's good, and I like being strict. Um, but definitely, some of the smaller, lighter drivers have a bit more, a bit more freedom, and, and also it allows them to train a bit harder and be a bit stronger, uh, put a bit more muscle on because. They've got weight in the pocket, whereas I don't. I've, I've been beaten by both of Williams drivers now. It would have been bad if it was the other way around. We're meant to be the professionals. You, you said that you would like to be lighter so that you could eat more stuff that you want. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> I do some banging salads. I think, um, you know. I love a cheap meal here and there of the odd pizza, the odd burger, ice cream, but I don't think I could have that every day for the rest of my life. But right. some of these salads I make, if you saw on my Instagram, they are pretty decent. And I honestly, I like them, I enjoy eating them, so a bit boring. I'm a boring guy, maybe. Ugh, that, that, was, that was actually some pretty close racing. In the third one, obviously. In the not. third one? Yeah. I'm not too sure about the first two. There's no need to rub it in. Sure. <laughs> um, George, I just want to thank you so much for the close battle in the third race. You absolutely destroyed me in the first two. And I'm pretty sure you made it quite clear that you're very quick on the sim, as well as a great driver in your life. Um, but I just want to wish you the best of luck uh, for the future and when racing gets underway, whether that be in Williams and whatever car you are in the future. Uh, future I wish you the best of luck. And thank you so much. Thank you very much. Been a pleasure. Thank you. And Cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye. Bye.